Right, hello everybody, welcome to the first round of the World Cup, Nerdfrog versus Guinness. Um, Nerdfrog won the toss as Amazons and chose to kick to Guinness's Lizardmen. Um, Guinness uh, is the world champion from two years ago with a 68% win rate in Champs Ladder. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Thanks for that, Grinning Hound. And uh, has a yeah, 68% win rate in Champs Ladder nearly every single game with Lizardmen. Um, so he blitzes, he blitzes the sure hand rather than blocking on the LOS. I would have liked to block on the LOS so that he couldn't be blitzed. Um, but he does expose into the blitz there and doesn't get diagonal blocks either. Um, but it is safer to make a three, so I think that's a that's a wash there. I like the three from the Crocs, obviously. Oh yeah, and then Nerdfrog has only played 30 games and he has a 40% win rate. So, it's not very conclusive because he's only played 30. It's not a big data size, not big data size. It's not a, it's a small sample size, but still 40% is is the lowest of the uh, World Cup, I think, apart from people who've like, played one game. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth mentioning with 30 games or not, but you know, there it is. <laughs> and he uh, he was one of the two Mad Academy qualifiers. So yeah, he's got he's got all the all the big boys out, and then the line of skinks, and then and then the skink of the ball. That's pretty standard stuff for lizard men. And oh yeah, his skills. Um, Nerdfrog was Mad Academy, um, yeah. So he's, I, I like what he's done with the skills. Um, he does blitz the tackler. And casts it. <laughs> Badly hurt. So instant, instant apple. <laughs> the fastest apple you've ever seen in your life there. <laughs> um, yeah, I actually like the skills of stacking because the thing that lizards struggle against in tabletop is like Amazons and Wood Elves because they don't get tackled. They can't take it because they take like five block and a guard crocs or they take six block Saurus. So I like starting with a block tackle, but without Blitz, he's only got two skills this drive. However, however, lucky for Guinness, um, is Nerdfrog. I hate Nerdfrog's build. Um, I hate that he's gone catchers and a thrower. Um, he's only got 13 players to have some positions that don't really do anything. Um, I don't like that he hasn't got a single guard. I don't like that he hasn't got a single wrestle. <laughs> and the block show hands... It's okay against Woodies, but I think it's a big commitment just just to like you know try and beat Woodies. Um, so I'm not a big fan of Amazons on the whole. Um, I don't know if I said this in the other game that I did with Amazons, but I'll repeat it. <laughs> oh, big one in nine. Um, could could blitz here and base the ball up. Could base a lot of things here. I think this is the turn to go all, all men's contact. It's early, sure, but. You know, if you blit if you base all these Saurus, they can't free each other, and you can have block guys on the ball. Um, you know, you, you can base all of the all of the skinks with tackle here, and he's only got two block on it of his own. See, I don't like that. I don't I don't like basing him with without block. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, to be fair, it'd have to be a dodge or a GFI to get block on him. Yeah, I, I would have gone all men's contact. Obviously, you'd have to be wary of a chain off. But this here, you've basically you've almost got eleven blodge because he's only got two block. That's why I don't like having three block. Because first of all, your show hands is really only good against woodies. So you've kind of taken three skills. And they're a bit superfluous, aren't they? And you know, I I, I really don't like his team build. But yeah, I don't like this. This is a bit of a nothing turn really. You can just block him and uh, block him and block him and blitz up here and make a big cage over here. This is this is a bit of an overcommit, isn't it? You know, he's he's got everything there, and everything's here, but all this pitch. Um, Nerdfrog is about to find out that 
Saurus on movement six, despite costing the same as Black Ox. <laughs> I mean, you know, Nerdfrog does play in Mad Academy. Maybe he's played loads of games in there. But he hasn't played many in Champs Ladder. And I really don't like his team build. But that's just me not liking his build. It doesn't mean that it's a bad build. I just don't like it. Gym disclaimer. <laughs> I mean, he could still base everyone here, or he could intersect, he could blitz here, um, or could have done with this block guy. This block guy could have blitzed this skink, and he could have maybe he's intersected. Um, the way, the way lizard men tend to do with their offense is swinging from side to side isn't it they, you know they, they can if they can um you know because they're so ridiculously insanely fast for strength four dudes um and it's scary to base them because they just punch you but when you've got dodge it's, it's not that scary to base them so i, I would have gone all men to the turn before it didn't um, Crocs blocks is a little bit scary. You could do it last. You could make it three dice, but it takes resources. But um, this is this, this can be a cage over here now, can't it? And stuff, and just keep just keep swinging around. put this guy there and then the skink there to make it three dice. I quite like that because you've still got two players haven't you? Or I mean there's a lot of payoff in here. Obviously the, the you don't want a bonehead but you do want to push him and have your crocs on two plate on two people. Uh, yeah. Threatening a surf so he's gonna have to dodge at the end. I will call the the Amazons he here I, I always call players in Blood Bowl he I'm not being sexist or anything. I just I'm just so used to saying he when talking about Blood Bowl. I can't I can't not say he. 3D on a skink's pretty good. I would have been tempted to just hide him in the cage. Well I mean I would have hit him here and have the Saurus there to three dice that I think. Again, he's not. He's, you know, he's got he's got the Saurus split, and he's not screening them out. He's just he's just screening in front. Which isn't really the way. Gets a little bit there, but still, I would have liked to have seen it more in between them. Because now Guinness can get his, all of his sores back together, can't he? So he gets all these guys in for the three dice block. <laughs> Bit extreme. Um, there's a chance of a surf here, wasn't there? But unlikely. I like the Crocs maneuver. Wow, this is some ballsy play. That's some ballsy play. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, you dirty Dino. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wow. There was some justice. Wow, that was incredibly that was incredibly greedy. 
Um, <laughs> one dice here for two dice on the ball. Um, seems reasonable. Wow. Doesn't just blitz as a skin. But still, the, the source are now hemmed in a little bit, so I could try to do something. Yeah, it didn't. It wasn't wasn't punished, Guinness. I I think the play was to definitely two D. Well, one D for a two D on the ball. Either one D with block, so it's more likely to work and get you two D on the ball, or one D with the other guy. You could one D with a rookie to get two D with block, and um, depending on whether you were, you know, what kind where you were on the risk reward sc scale. Random foul. That was a foul with a <laughs> the block, the block catcher, wasn't it? Um, I don't know if that's frustration creeping in, but he, he got a KO from it. And, again, he's got a few guys here to move around if he wants. Can use this guy as the, as the other cage corner. This is just so easy, aren't they? <laughs> when they don't fail blocks, <laughs> they're pretty. They're pretty good. Only reroll's been on a on an uphill block, hasn't it? Actually. Oh, I don't like that. I would have put him there because this is still a this is still a cage. I mean, okay, there's no real Amazons to run around and hit from here. But this is still a cage, isn't it? If this guy isn't here, there's still a cage. So I think I would have put him there first. Yeah, Nerd, Nerdfrog hasn't used... He got a reroll from the kickoff event and hasn't used a reroll the entire match. Um, maybe he's done a bit of a chore ball here and played too safe, you know. I think I would have definitely gone for the the shot on the ball there, two dice on the ball. Really easy, wasn't it? It was either 2 plus to get a 2D on the ball or it was a 3 plus to get 2D on the ball with block. I think either option was better than just hitting a random skin. Face the ball, ne never bad really against lizards, is it? But you want to kind of stop his Saurus from getting freed up if you're going to do that. I like, I like the dodge away from the tail. Typical, isn't it? You get your tail on two guys and they just both dodge away. <laughs> Another foul! <laughs> oh man! Oh man! He's gone. He's gone, ham. He's, he's pretty much the problem. The problem that Nerd Frogs had here. He's always played too narrow wherever he was. He, you know, when he was at one side, he was too narrow, so Guinness could could switch sides. And now when he's in the middle, he's still too narrow. Um, in my opinion, <laughs> this is hard to protect the ball, though, isn't it? Wow, without a reroll was it? Was that a GFI without a reroll as well? Because of the because the one in now. I mean, to be fair, Guinness has rolled about zero powers in this game. <laughs> so um, he's lucky that maybe Node Frog's been a bit passive. Because I tell you, I would have been all over him like a rash on like turn two or three, whenever it was. And if he got all these dice of never getting a power, game would have been lost already. Um. So, but you know, chance for the chance for the two turn, not a great chance of movement six and agility three. But he's got the catchers. <laughs> he, he he gets to use his pass and his catch maybe.
but um, this seem this seems reasonable, doesn't it? To get the block, strength four block, so he can't go down the side whatsoever. But he can, but it's hard to go down the sides. And then the strength four in the middle to make it hard to go through the middle as well. Um, and it's hard to knock over the LOS because they're all strength fours. So this is a pretty hard defense to get through if your Amazon's here. B movement six, that's the killer. And it's it's really hard when there's a riot. <laughs> uh, well, at least he's got a skink. Three dice on a skink. Or, or two. Gets the, gets the pal. Should have obviously made it three. Maybe a rush of blood. Gets the pal. Will, will he get to use his reroll? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> no, no rerolls allowed. <laughs> he's really only failed things with a team reroll, or uh, or he's passed, hasn't he? Yeah, without any guard, he, without without guard, he couldn't break through the centre. That that was the killer. So. But he's movement six anyway, you know, so it's asking a lot to two turn with Amazons against any team, really. No matter what their team build is. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, there's not much else. Well, he could have had three because he's he's got a bit of crap positions. But I think, you know, 13 players and 4 rerolls is fine. I don't like only 12 players. Um, but I wouldn't have the position of that. I have 13 players and 4 rerolls. 4 rerolls seems excessive, but there's overtime. And you can try funky things that he didn't try. And, you know, if you go to overtime, you've got 4. I mean, I think 3 rerolls leaves you a little bit light and there's no real need to. But this is the problem with Amazons in this format. Amazons are tier 1 in NAF tabletop. And... The reason they're tier one is because they're amazing in thousand TV tournaments. You know that that that's their niche. Thousand TV. If if you get a thousand TV tournament, zones are amazing. That's why they've got great win percentage in in enough stats. If you've got one thousand one hundred and you've got a star player, you can get Roxana, and then they're brilliant. But when they're just trying to fill out the one thousand one hundred for this, they end up with like tons of players and tons of rerolls that they don't really need. Um, or get much value from. So I really didn't think I thought they were a really bad choice of race in this in this format. And specifically this builder didn't they? You could have even like made a GFI to hit a skink to me. Three, four, five, six. A dodge and a GFI to hit a skink. Not really worth it, is it without my any blow? I'm not sure about this receivers receiving threats. I mean, at least it's not raining anymore, but he's not. He's not. This would be a bit aggro for pro elves. <laughs> never mind. Uh, never mind Amazons. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. So in chat, I had the man saying in the World Cup, kicking or receiving, do you think it's better? I would say kicking with almost every team. Um, 1.1 Roxana, what's the build there? I don't know. <laughs> 11 Linos plus Roxana, what's that? 7, 8k. And then 4 Blitzers. 9.6, 2 rerolls, 40k. I'm not making shit up. It's the best build. At 1.1. It's not set in stone, but it's the best build at 1.1. Get Roxana. Get Roxana and cheap linos that have all got dodge. Pretty hard to deal with. I've played Jock McRowdy with it and Andy Davo with it. 
and you can't go 1.1 Roxy here, no indeed you can't. One of the reasons why I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like this strategy here of it's like an elf store, but he hasn't got an elf team. <laughs> it seems another foul. He likes the fouls, doesn't he? This is, I mean, not El Amazon's can be a good fouling team. Like if you'd gone thirteen players or fourteen players, you could have gone, couldn't he? You could have gone fourteen players and three rerolls. And then he could have made it. That, that's what Sage could have done for his founding team. His founding team could have been a 14 man Amazon team. I wouldn't have hated that. Um, you know, I think a 14 man founding team has is, is got something going for it. But not a 12 man positionals founding team. But he probably thought this was a good idea based on this king, but the thing is. Skinks can just get a couple of maids and <laughs> smack, <laughs> smash it to pieces, can't they? Now, obviously, he's got blood, so he's probably not going to go over, but he can't get stuck on the source. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like this. I don't like this elf offense. Just because they don't have the mobility. Although, although they've all got dodge, you know, one in nine dodges... Or better than one in six dodges, but the fact that you don't have the team reroll back up means that they, they just fail at the worst possible times, don't they? <laughs> Guinness in chat saying, yeah, you broke AV7. I mean, to be fair, it's more, yeah, yeah, you rolled a pal. I can't remember him palling on Amazon in the last, in the last <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you don't knock them over, you can't really break AV, can you? Anyone for a pass? Okay. I mean, if he'd made the pass, the skinks would have would have maybe got there in two D. But this one could have been the one time he didn't want a pal. He could have when he could have served. He gets the pal. <laughs> I mean, he probably wouldn't use the blitz there anyway. When when the ball's on the ground, you probably don't want to waste your blitz making a serve on the wrong, completely wrong side of the pitch. But he could have done apple on on the KO there. Fair enough. Second half. Game's in the balance, isn't it? 1 0 down. Yeah, get the blitz. Could even maybe do a cheeky GFI here. Yep, yeah, he does. Oh, GFI. I don't, I don't like the riskiness of the GFI there. Um, is that leading to. Didn't really lead to anything, did it? Unless he 3D, he didn't 3D. No, I don't like a GFI there. Either. The Saurus in 3D, fair enough. But... It's rough, isn't it? More dodges. Crocs, Crocs blitz to, like, Croc dodge away from tail to blitz. But, stands nowhere instead. Well, no, Sean, in, well, this must have been a misclick, surely. What? What happened there? What even is that? Um... Wow. Blitz here. Was that a misclick? I wanted to stand there instead of there. I would have maybe he's made. I would have maybe he's uh, gone for a pow here. Could have put the skinks in here. And then gone for a pow to free up the saurus for a 2D on the ball. 
Um, or could have swarmed with skinks. Could have just blocked there and swarmed with skinks and got a 2D. I don't know what Guinness was thinking with that blitz. Could have just literally blocked and followed. I guess in the case of a 1 in 9. Seems a bit excessive though, doesn't it? And to not face the ball as well. I don't know what... I don't know what Guinness was thinking of with that blitz. He is here, so maybe you could tell us. <laughs> but, um... I don't really get that blitz. One dice blitz. Can't have the, uh... Can't have the interception chance. <laughs> I know it was to get forward, I know that. I was just joking. Tries another pass, fails another pass. He'd have been alright if he had elves. But unfortunately, he made the fatal mistake of not recognising the fact that he was using an Amazon team and not, in fact, a wood elf team. Um... Nerd frog just seems to be rolling dice. Wow, that was a that was a one in twenty seven block, wasn't it? At least he made removal though. <laughs> you could argue that could have made a safe play, but Stall. He should stall, shouldn't he? He could stall. He could stall if I've got the feeling he's just going to stall for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No, picked up with a picked up with the short hands. All right, good. An eye cage because there's no skinks. There's no Saurus free. But still, I mean, a five plus to tackle him is all right. Obviously, it's not really a very, it's not really a, a safe moves first kind of blitz, but it would be possible, obviously, I'm sure. Um, Guinness is going to roll double skulls and <laughs> do the safe, the safe play of blitzing and basing. But, you know, a dodge, a dodge to hit might have happened. Oh, no, there's a screen there. But it could have done if there wasn't a screen there. No, there was a screen. No, that was pretty safe. I, I like the eye cage there and getting a foul on the skin. It's a blitzer. So, blitz there with a... Oh, this does the same thing. I would have blitzed the corner one. I don't think one's particularly better than the other. They both end up the same way, don't they? But this makes it harder for the stall, I guess. I would have I would have blitzed and then gone back and he's not stalling. Yeah, that's that's poor. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Um hopefully no one will chastise me and say I'm the meanest person in Blood Bowl for saying that. But if he'd hit the corner one he would have then had an, another guy to screen with, and he could have just totally screened off, or I caged, or whatever. Um, you don't really want to give people who are movement eight a chance to two turn against you. People who move eight and ignore tackle zones. Um, if he gets a player to this square, <laughs> he can, a skink to this square, he, you know, it's very hard to stop him scoring, isn't it? So I wouldn't really want to give. Guinness a chance to turn against me for no reason, but you know I guess he, he was scared of getting turned over and there is nerves and you know maybe he just got the turn counter wrong. Shawnee, Shawnee who's one of the best coaches in Blood Bowl 2 once didn't score on turn 8 because he didn't know what turn it was so you know maybe, maybe, maybe that was a fact you just don't know do you? Nerdfrog has five re-rolls again. 
because the only thing he's failed have been uh, have been the the like the passes. Shawnee flashlights, go fuck yourself. Yeah, he hasn't really. He hasn't had the chance to reroll anything, has he? <laughs> he hasn't failed anything. <laughs> he hasn't failed anything, but he hasn't he hasn't lived dangerously enough on defense. That was the thing. If I had been on defense. I would have had multiple shots of the ball, failed them all, and re-rolled them all, and still failed them all. <laughs> yeah, so ingot, ingot here. I like this wall of, of source. I would like to have seen a guy down before attempting the pickup because. Guinness has to re-roll the pickup now, and it's a one in nine to not have a chance. Um, I'd have liked to have seen somebody here already. TBH. Yeah, yeah, I think there should have been a, a skin forward there. And I also don't really like. I don't really like the uh, going on the sideline because he's only got one square of lateral movement here, hasn't he? And it's a double GFI as well. So his max movement here, because he's only he's four in instead of five in. I don't like putting him on the sideline. Okay, he could have dodged in, but still, or based in whatever. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's quite that's quite a decent That's quite a decent web of tackle zones, isn't it? He doesn't need anyone here because the only way he can score is going this way. So these last two people do nothing. So he should have they they were positioned kind of badly. They should have been, you know, back here doing something. And then maybe move them further across or whatever. But that's not bad, is it? Just block some guys and then make some dodges. One, two, three dodges. Wow. Wow. That one action. That one action had literally more more dodge successes with a skink than any game I've ever played with Lizard Man. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was pretty lucky making three dodges. To be fair, with a with a skink, but you know it, it happens, doesn't it? You know it's. He should have gone deeper. He should. He should have. He could have defended better against it. Three he could words. have made a bigger. Shut up. He could have made a bigger net for more more dodges. Um, you know, at the end of the day, he he could have made more GFIs and and made more of a net to 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 catch the skink, but. Made him make more. Um, I still think Guinness would have scored an overtime. Uh, would have won in overtime. But he did score a touchdown on his drive, you know. So he may have lost if it had gone overtime. Three AV breaks and six AV breaks. Only twenty-five blocks versus forty-eight. Um, the dice rolls. Oh, let's have a look at the dodges. Eighty-one percent dodges. He did think he was elves. <laughs> Uh, pass, not so much. <laughs> the passing, not really on point, but the dodging, the dodging sure was. Um, 20, 10, 17. So pretty, pretty poor dice, even though he didn't really fail anything. And got lots of pals. Um, overall, the dice weren't good, were they? 20, 13 both down. I mean, 13 both downs, I guess, were good because he's got seven players with block. Um, so, you know... All these, all these one in nines here. Well, I say one in nines, two one in nines, three one in nines. They were, they were with block, weren't they? And this pushing both down is a knockdown. Oh, another one in nine, but that's okay because they've all got block. Um, but yeah, twenty ten seventeen is a bit unlucky, isn't it? Especially seven pals against uh, skinks. What have we got here? 34, 44, 28. So, and only 13 power. So very poor blocking dice from uh, from Guinness. I mean, 
it was it was pretty obvious from watching that <laughs> also missed the tackler for the first half, uh, you know, which wasn't great, was it? And um, three re rolls on on one in nines isn't isn't bad, is it? Three one in nines from that many blocks, but yeah, lots of pushes and not many powers at all. So very good dodging. Um, very good, very well behaved Crocs ago. So, you know, overall, I think, you know, who's to say who got the better dice? I don't know. I thought the dice, both both people had kind of not great dice, but also not terrible dice. Uh, I just think, I just think overall, Guinness played better. So, there you go. Well deserved win. And uh, for the champ, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.